Okay, so this is question three for my evaluation. Uh, what have you learned from your audience feedback? Okay, so first of all, um, I've decided to use the social networking site Facebook. And I've also used uh, Family and Friends Reactions, which is from Abby Lacey, who is a friend of mine and Ellie's. And from Ellie's brother, Jamie. Um, we've also used the uh, website SurveyMonkey to uh, construct two different types of surveys. One which is from before we started making our film, which was just general questions on film noir itself. And then um, to do a survey on what they thought of our film Noir of Noir. Uh, okay, so what we what I've learned personally from audience feedback, so pretty much I used a social networking site Facebook to ask many of my friends, as you can see, uh, about nineteen people. Um, I pretty much sent a message around just asking if any of my friends could watch and leave some comments, as you can see below. And yeah, so they left some comments. Uh, pretty much, I'm going to go through every comment and then say what we have learnt from this, etc. Okay, so um, Darren Meadows pulled off the convention things well and music ties in. Good lighting is ideal and interesting story. Good job. Um, from his feedback, it really gives us a sense that. When coming to think about film noir conventions, uh, we pulled it off well and we felt that when looking for music, we found this quite a struggle and then to get the feedback of the music ties in well and the good lighting is ideal, this uh, gives us um, more confidence in that we actually did know what we were doing and interesting story, it just helps to boost that, you know, he really did enjoy it. Um, okay, moving on to the next comment, uh, which is from Amy Whitten, as you can see. Um, she's commented on the two sides of our femme fatale, which we felt that, you know, was the dominant thing that we really wanted to portray. Um, therefore, it's good that, you know, an audience member has noticed that you know there is two sides to our femme fatale. She's also noticed that we did want to portray a vulnerable side as in our film she's going to visit her dead husband which you know it, it's not a very nice situation and it's not good for a person to be in, a situation for a person to be in. But then as she turns into a murderer um, uh, many different people have also commented on us doing um, the, cir the circle that she is involved in. I mean, it starts and it finishes with uh, the femme fatale uh, looking for her prey. And then at the end, she is walking away from it. And you can tell that, you know, she's looking for her next victim. Uh, Amy's also mentioned that our key film noir conventions are present, which is really nice to hear because it suggests that we got something right, <laughs> that we we portrayed the uh, film noir conventions properly. And many other people, as you will see, have commented on the old noir style of black and white. Um, we felt that we were taking a risk with this, um, but we also felt that, you know, well, they've commented that it was really nice. Uh, the next comment, um, the, again, referring to the use of music, was apparently good. The characters and the storyline are set out really well and are clear, which is good because we felt that with our storyline, our initial storyline, it was really quite confusing. This is why I suggested that we needed to add in subtle hints, for example, the flashback of the femme fatale when she's reminiscing over her past victims, to suggest that this is something she's done before and then it's really clear that the audience are actually understanding that it is a circle of what she's doing. Uh, the next comment 
the black black and white filter and the use of the radio newspaper all fits together with the period of the movie. This is a really helpful comment because we felt that to add in these different different sorry different conventions of film noir. For example, we did the radio broadcast and the newspaper um, to fit in with the time period. We um, done the radio broadcast in a style that would be heard in that era. And for the newspaper, we just stuck with simple black font, which was the Black Widow. Um, she, Catherine has also commented on how we used director Jess at the beginning, and also to hint that repeating previous actions, and she is proud of it. So, again, it suggests that we really got the point across. Uh, the next comment um, is a comment that suggests that our film was really professional. Uh, the story is engaging, which is really what our aim was. The shot types are awesome and there are lots and lots of film noir connotations. It's really good. Um, as you can see throughout the comments, it's a repeat pattern of the storyline is engaging, the shot types are good and the... Uh, film noir conventions and connotations are really showing through. Um, next comment. Love the typical film noir props, cigarette, newspaper, glasses, wine, etc. This again helps build the idea that we really listened to and viewed the film noir conventions. The soundtrack builds up the intensity through the film. Uh, this helps us to... Um, uh, Really, the uh, soundtrack is, was quite important and we kind of struggled with the music of what to do. So this is um, really helpful towards us. Engaging the audience. A simple but strong story. Storyline but very professional. Um, again, most of the comments are sewn up pretty much the same thing. As we are engaging the audience. Uh, the next one. The film noir convention which used black and white cigarette portrayal of the femme fatale made it very effective and dramatic. Again, like I'm saying, we're getting very similar comments of what we done well. Uh, she's cleaning her hands makes a link and the repetitive, um, effective storyline. So, yeah. It's just showing how, what we've done really well. Love the point of view shots. They work really well and look effective. I really like how it's in black and white. Again, people seem to be commenting on our use of colour as... Most people have gone down the idea of using um, Neo Noir, as I've been also commented on my other friends' films. Therefore, I felt that what I've learned from Facebook for my audience feedback is that it's a really quick and easy way to get uh, what I wanted to get across. I mean, I wanted them to watch my fi our film and leave some comments. Um, it's also, uh, from this, I've learnt that it's, like I said, it's very easy. It's it's good because uh, you can get to write really quickly and you can just put some down some basic comments. I mean, you know, Daryl here, he's only put some little bits, but it really helps us to know that if we was to do this again or we was to edit it you know we could uh, change some little bits to make it even better we uh, haven't really got any negatives but I'm sure when looking at Survey Monkey there may be um, so yeah I felt that Facebook was a really really good strategy to use when thinking about um, our audience feedback uh, I felt that most of them really enjoyed it, as most of our comments were very positive. Uh, okay, so now I'm going to move on to Survey Monkey. Um, for Survey Monkey, I done two different surveys, which was based on film noir audience research, which I'm going to go through first because I still feel that this uh, contributes to my audience feedback. I felt that by using Survey Monkey, um, it helped to make my surveys look more professional instead of just using a data capture form, etc. Or 
a different type of survey. I felt that it was really easy as I could do it on the internet. I could simply just type in all the information and it would be quicker here than me trying to design a survey and either printing them off and sending them around to all my friends etc. So therefore saving the planet. <laughs> it also is a lot easier because I can use the internet to either, e if I was to decide this I could email the link or again I could use the social networking site Facebook or Twitter and I just felt that it was a lot more viable for what I'm, supposed, what I'm wanting to do. Uh, I can post it on my blog, like here. I can literally just post the little link and I can send it around. I mean, I've done this for Facebook and i done it on Twitter and I got a fair amount of responses. I mean, I didn't get as many as I wanted to, but a lot of people are reluctant to do it because they feel it's going to take them a lot of time. But it was a lot easier than going around and asking my friends, you know, would you mind doing this instead? Okay, so I'm now going to go through the different questions and the responses. So for the um, film noir audience research, which is what I've done be before we um, started our filmmaking, um, I started off question one with, did you know that film noir was a uh, black film? So as you can see on the screen, four out of six people knew that film noir translated into English from French means black film. I generally thought that you know this question would be a quite good question to start off with because a lot of people don't know what the genre of film noir, but they may know it when I I'm reminding them within a question that you know, film noir doesn't mean black film. But also, as you can see, two people didn't. So, moving on to the next question. Have you ever heard of film noir, neon noir? I felt that this would be a good question as it's getting straight to the point of what I want to know. So, therefore, on this question, it's directly halved. Three out of six people knew and three out of six people didn't. Question three, how much do you know about film noir? Uh, one people knew a lot, one person, sorry. Uh, four people knew not much, and one person knew none at all. So directly this suggests to me that not a lot of people knew, know what film noir is, and therefore suggesting that it's a lost genre. Or, as some people even consider, it's not even considered a genre itself. Uh, the next question, do you like a traditional film noir or something that is going to challenge film noir conventions? Again, this was uh, split in half. Some people do like traditional film noir and some people like to challenge the film noir conventions. Therefore, when thinking about our own film, we thought that whatever way we was to pick, if we was to use bits of both, you know, it was both going to be popular. I then wanted to find out what kind of storyline people liked. And as you can see, the most popular one is all of the above, which is Detective Storyline, tri Love Triangle Storyline, and Police Corruption. And two people liked Love Triangle Storyline, you know, the idea that it's not going to work out well. Uh, question six, what aspects come to mind when you think of film noir? Well, as you can tell that throughout this survey, not a lot of people knew what film noir was. Therefore, <laughs> stating the obvious in the first question that film noir means black film. The uh, majority have gone with black and white film, um, but two out of six have gone with Femme Fatale taking advantage, and one person has gone with police corruption. And finally, question seven, what setting would you expect to see in a typical film noir? Uh, most people have gone with wet and damp street. I mean, typically in a, a traditional film noir, you would typically see this kind of, this kind of street. Uh, three have gone with an urban setting, two with a nightclub or bar, as you know, well, for example, in LA Confidential, they're in many different bars, but then they are on the uh, damp street. I mean, the idea that comes to mind is when Jack is on the street with the low, um, sorry, the high angle shot of him, with the bad and the beautiful in the background. Um, this really signifies this wet and damp street, which is a well-known film noir, so therefore this is where we took this from. 
So, yeah, Survey Monkey for this from our audience research was really, really helpful. I mean, we got, for this specific one, we got six respondents. I mean, it wasn't as great as I wanted, but I did try to promote it as much as I can. I mean, like I said, many people were reluctant to do so. Uh, the second question was, what did you think of Le Bavre Noir? I mean, most of my friends commented on Facebook, so I only got one respondent to this. So I'll just go through this really quickly. Uh, the first question I used, did you enjoy Le Bavre Noir? Uh, yes. Uh, what would you rate Le Bavre Noir? Five star, which was really kind. Uh, oh, okay, so what was your favourite bits? I'm going to read, uh, I'll just read bits and pieces. I really enjoyed the fact that you kept with the traditional black and white film noir lighting. For example, I think they're talking about the scene with um, Scarlett when she's reminiscing over her victims. They said that they liked how our characters were represented, so obviously it was obvious that Femme Tale was Femme Tale and the protagonist was the protagonist. Um, they said that the music fits well and it mimics the actions. For example, Scarlett walking away in the graveyard, she's lost control. Um, I'm glad they picked up on this point because we really wanted to mim mimic the lyrics. The range of shots were good and my favourite scene was Scarlett looking at her next victim four months earlier as it was well thought of angles and she looked possessed over the world. I thought it was amazing. Uh, from this comment, I mean, it gives us a really good idea what bits they really, really liked. And then I've gone on to ask what we could have improved on. Uh, when Scarlett and Dixon walked in over the threshold of the house, shots were a bit, little bit shaky, and this could contribute to the disorientation of the situation, as just Dixon is just about to be killed. I mean, this is a really, really good constructive uh, critique. Um, we're aware of this. I'm not trying to make excuse, but our camera had actually died. So, to be fair to us, we had to fit around the camera being plugged in. This shouldn't have happened i mean our camera died this was obviously our fault but i do like the fact how they've helped us say and contribute to the disorientation of the situation as dixon is about to be killed that is a really really good critique and if we were to do this again we would work on this obviously what have you seen from what have you from what you have seen what would you class our film as well made well that's really really good critique as you know we were only using a basic camera and obviously for editing we used iMovie. I mean, it's not the best program that we could have used, but I think from the situation that we had, we done really, really well. Uh, did Le Vav Noir make you intrigued to watch more? Yes. I mean, that's a very common um, comment from either my friends on Facebook, etc. Okay, so overall, what have we learned? from our audience research on SurveyMonkey. Um, I've learned that surveys are a good way of trying to gather some information. I mean, I, I would definitely use SurveyMonkey again if I did need to collect some surveys. Therefore, through using SurveyMonkey for my audience research, we've learned that different bits of our film obviously wasn't perfect. I mean, of Scarlett and Dixon walking through the threshold, this really signifies a hearty marriage and a home. And then the fact that we went into the kitchen, I can understand how this could be seen to be disorientated. You know, normally you would go to the bedroom. Um, so yeah, from Survey Monkey, we've learnt that different parts obviously wasn't perfect. I mean, the, the uh, person stated that our shots were a little shaky. I mean, this is what we could improve on. Therefore, through using Survey Monkey, this has helped us. This has helped us to get contributions from different people to understand where we could go wrong. Uh, this is also the case in Facebook. I mean, everyone has left comments to say, you know, this is what we really liked and this is what maybe what you could have worked on. It also helped us to look at the bits that 
obviously weren't so perfect and in the future if we was to do it again this is what we could improve on. I felt that this time round for A2 Media that myself and obviously my other classmates and Ellie have found different ways around um, finding research. I mean last time I think I done a um, survey that I just made and printed off. I mean this time Survey Monkey has been a lot more efficient. And so is Facebook. And also this time around instead of just stating what the um, target audience has said with just a picture I've actually we've got round to recording it so you know you can actually see what they're saying and it's a lot more of a me what a media student should do uh, therefore I'm going on to friends and family rea reaction uh, here is a video of Abby Lacey um, obviously she's been very kindly to allow us to record her after watching our film and she does give us some critique about what she likes and I'm, I think that she said something that we could improve on. So yes, I'm going to play that. Tell me what did you think of our film? Um, I really enjoyed it. Um, I really liked the girl with black and white moments. Like the whole thing was in black and white. Again, like on Facebook, she's commented on the black and white and how she enjoyed that. Moments of like, the title was in red. And then the connotation between the black and white and the red, which I've used in all three of my texts, which include my main film and my two ancillary tasks. I really, really liked that because it was film noir, but then it was obvious. I mean, from an uh, audience feedback suggesting this, this also contributes to the other question, question two, which is how effective they were. I mean, she's automatically associated the three different colours together. And again, like the others, she's commented on the effect of the black and white and how, unlike others, we have kept with this traditional film noir convention. I, uh, I just, I really liked, like, the little things. Like, the good... Again, um, by doing this, this audience feedback, this has helped us to uh, really suggest how and what aspects of our film that were effective, as it is clear, because everyone is pretty much stating the same thing. Like the cuisine, there was like a shot with um, the door. With... She's picked up on the idea of cuisine, which in our film is as uh, Scarlett and um, Dixon have just walked over the threshold. This also links back to Le Vard Noir, as it's French, and cuisine, kitchen, it means French. We really like this idea of coming from the roots of film noir. The cuisine, and that's like both French, like that's a French word, but then you just think film noir. Um, and I really liked the, your hair as well, like the, your femtail's hair. It was like blonde, but then it was like really messy as well, and it was like, like maybe like a reference to society. I really, really liked that. And all the um, repre representations were like really obvious. And there was just like the little things that just made it. Like when he said, like when he was talking at the beginning um, about the, when he's put his tie on, he's saying, like, I love you. Again, she is commented on the different shot types, like other people have. I mean, this has also helped us with our audience feedback. As again, if we were to do it again, we know from this where what we would do. I mean, they've commented on that we've included many different good shot types. I mean, if we like I said, if we were to do this again, we would know that we need to include as many different effective shot types as we can, like I feel that we did in Le Vav Noir. Um, as I've been saying, the little things really build up, so therefore if we was to do this again, this audience feedback has helped us to know exactly what to do, and it's helped us to suggest that what we have already done seems to be very effective. Um, and then I'm going to go down to Ellie Fletcher's brother, Jamie. Um, here it's a lot better because you can see that he's actually watching the film. So if I go through this. I like the way that um, he's helped us out by going through every shot 
and saying exactly what he likes and dislikes and exactly what we could do to improve this. I mean, by using this specific type, I mean, at least on this on her Mac, I feel that the upgraded technology here has really, really helped us. As, as I've mentioned, you've got in the corner our film and in the other corner his reaction and exactly what he's telling us about. Therefore, overall, I feel that what I have personally learned from our audience feedback is that um, the different programs we've used, I mean, we've used SurveyMonkey, Facebook and Audience Reactions. I feel that many were favoured more. Personally, Facebook was the strongest link for us. It's easy as it didn't take much time for the um, audience to just write a quick comment. It didn't really bother them that much. I mean, personally, the audience uh, reaction was really, really effective, especially Jamie's one. But this took a lot more time to prepare. And so, yeah, I feel that by placing the audience feedback into different sections of good and bad, this has helped us contribute to looking at our film in a different perspective and really considering, you know, if we was to do this again or if we was to do something different, we'd know exactly what to do. We'd know what the audience expect and what the audience would like. This is why at the beginning I done an audience um, research to know what exactly they're like in a film noir and what they would like to expect. Therefore, when coming to our film noir, we didn't really get that many negative comments. I feel that we listened to our audience a lot and therefore our audience feedback was quite strong. So therefore, I feel that Facebook, SurveyMonkey and Audience Reactions was our strongest links for our audience feedback and I feel that our audience feedback was really, really strong.